Well, the names Harvey, Irma, and Maria all bring up some pretty vivid and scary images in our mind. A reminder of what feels like a very active hurricane season. Our next guest knows this all too well. We're happy to have with us today the Weather Channel meteorologist, Kelly Cass. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Sasha. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being with us. So it seems that hurricane season, this hurricane season, has been extremely busy. Has that been out of the norm? I think we've had busier hurricane seasons. 2004, 2005 were very busy. We went through every name on the list. And then we actually had to start using the Greek alphabet because it was so busy. But this year, it's the number of landfalling systems that have had a lot of impact on people, on their homes, on property. And that's why this hurricane season is really going down as the system or the season that really affected more people in terms of our you know economy and also livelihood mm -hmm. do you think people they, they seem to be off guard do you think they've become a little bit more complacent because in the past they haven't been affected as much uh, unfortunately I think that is the case because the last time we had a major hurricane make a landfall was Wilma mm -hmm. and that was in 2005 so you know here it is 2017 so many years later beyond a decade mm -hmm. and we've gone so long without a major hurricane making landfall in our country this year, so far, we've had three major ca Category 4 hurricanes make landfall, mm -hmm. including, of course, our territory in Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, mm -hmm. where, um, you know, they're basically having to reconstruct everything and rebuild. Mm -hmm. Cry wolf, 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 and now... Yeah, yeah it's here, hit. and a lot more people have moved to the coast as well. You're mm -hmm. talking millions more yeah. since over the last decade have, you know, I mean, why not, right? It's beautiful to be on the beach and live right. near the water, um, but unfortunately, people forget that it can be very dangerous to live mm -hmm. alongside the water as well. Tell us about yourself. What made you become a meteorologist? Uh, well, I started out in communications, actually, okay. first. I did reporting. <laughs> I did some anchoring. And then I kind of did meteorology along the way because mm -hmm. I was always fascinated by it. Mm -hmm. I mean, weather is something that affects all of us. Mm -hmm. It really takes over the conversation. When you're checking out at the grocery store, yes. what do people ask you about? Oh, how is it outside? It's so beautiful. Or, oh, the weather is you know, pretty crummy. I wonder if it's going to storm. So I took meteorology classes along the way as I got my bachelor's degree in communications. And then I went back and did more meteorology courses when I decided that this was definitely the path I wanted to take. Now, Kelly, it seems like meteorology field is more dominated by men. Do you think more young women are getting into the field? I think more and more women are absolutely getting into the field. When I first started out back in the early 90s, I'm <laughs> dating myself, but I was actually the only female meteorologist in my market in upstate New York. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I was, you know, part of the breakthrough <laughs> for women, you know, at that time. And it was a little nerve wracking because I think at first we were termed weather girls yes. and, you know, we weren't really thought of as scientists mm -hmm. in the field, but now I think people are much more accepting of it. I, I agree. And it's, it's not an easy, not an easy task. No, it's so not. So if people want to follow you, where can they go? I'm on Facebook, okay. uh, facebook.com, TWC Kelly Cass, or on Twitter at Kelly Cass. Um, Instagram, I'm new at Snapchat. I joined it for my kids' sake, oh, but okay. I am on there as well as the Kelly Cass. Well, you're way ahead of the game for me. I'm not on Snapchat, <laughs> so maybe you'll teach me. Okay. <laughs> Great having you here. Thank you for having me. Thank you.